What's going on guys? TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We're playing Jurassic Valgaro. Now I know there's not been a lot of Jurassic Valgaro on the channel lately. We've gotten super busy uh, with real life and with the other server and just all the things going on. So we haven't been able to really play too much the last few days. It is an open server now. We did go ahead and remove the password. There's not a lot of people playing on it right now. I still get on it from time to time. Auto still in here time to time. And then we've had a couple new people join the server within the last week. Uh, but it is open. I'm going to leave it up for probably another 30 to 40 days, uh, depending on if, if there's much use for it. Uh, if it does get a little bit of traffic, I would leave it up longer. And if it doesn't, uh, we would take it down. So today we got a couple things planned. I want to go ahead. Uh, we're about to start the big move. So I don't really talk too much about the personal stuff. I try to lace it a little bit of it here and there within the videos. Just so you guys kind of know what's going on. Uh, that way if there's like videos missing or if there's stuff going on. We are actually in the middle of moving right now. All of the eternal vid videos that you've seen are pre-recorded videos that I've recorded over the last week and a half or so. And I've got them scheduled out for the next several weeks. This is actually being recorded uh, the day before it uploads because we're, we're about to pack up our computer. Uh, so we're, we're recording a couple last episodes of this. What I wanted to do, since I'm not going to be able to play on the server for a few days, I want to go ahead and show off... A couple of the builds. We'll still go out and get in some trouble real quick after, depending on how long the video is. But we're going to go check out a couple of the builds on the server. Auto, Goat, and Teru are amazing at building, especially with this mod pack. We've got all of the eco stuff. You guys saw what I built up there with the castle. It's not great. I finished up the throne room. I finished up the little bedroom area. And I'm happy with it in general. Oh, let's see. We still got some Easter Day stuff on here? I guess I haven't done a Dino Wipe in a, about a week or so. We did update the server but I guess a few of them are still alive but like I said so we didn't really finish up too much of the castle uh, we got kind of sidetracked on it it was a hard build this is really expensive to build with uh, so we we did finish up the majority of the inside I've got like the it's kind of hard to see it's really dark in here the north is really really dark the lighting up here uh, it, you know it's it's winter is coming it's it's really dark up here we finish up the throne room stuff I uh, put some tables and stuff up here I put the table so I wouldn't fall through the hole <laughs> the uh, so I wouldn't fall down put some thrones up here some bear stuff just some random things what is that oh a trophy case I don't even remember putting that in there I uh, just some other random benches and stuff like that we finish up the staircase uh, some some chairs and some different stuff for like the king's court nothing super major just enough to kind of like flesh it out just a little bit but let's go ahead and go check out the first one we're gonna check out is one of goats builds and I'm gonna do these in separate videos because I want to make sure I really show off how much time they put into these this server is not overly overly boosted uh, so it is really really tough to build in so you can see right here here's the names of them you can see goats got all these bases right here that he's worked really hard on I think Lonely Mountains the only one that wasn't really done uh, the rest of them were all really cool little workshops here now I don't remember which one is which so let me go to the first one because I've got in mind which one I wanted to look at let me go check it out real quick I'll be right back all right so let's show off the first of the builds so this one is called make sure I get the name right I'm horrible at pronouncing names so if I get it wrong I'm a thousand percent sorry this is Isengard 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 I definitely remember it from the movie but look how huge <laughs> this structure is now keep in mind this is done he's not an admin on the server or anything like that this is all done with either owls oh there's something going on over there either with owls or birds to help him build up that high it's pretty amazing what he's gotten done over here what are you doing man well that's just not smart what are you doing there we go uh, but I kind of want to show you just the outside real quick because he kind of set up a bunch of stuff on the outside I think to keep things out and a couple uh, foundation areas over here I think that's the main stuff on the sides right here uh, he also did a little bit of these like bridges and stuff like that just kind of flesh the area out Oh, we're getting a little bit of a little bit of frames here. Now I'm hoping the video settings are okay. I had to kind of delete a couple of videos because we actually had a little bit of trouble with. Uh, I only have one screen now because we're packing everything up, so I can't look to the right to make sure that OBS is recording well. Uh, but here you go. You got a couple of little pathways that kind of lead to everything. It just looks really, really cool. He did a good job on like the surrounding, and he built in a perfect area for this. Uh, but he's got like some of these different bridges and stuff like this. Look at this. Just looks good. It looks good. All right. It takes us to the entrance over here. Got some spikes out here to make it look better. Now, I don't know if these are trees that he placed. Oh, these are. Look. These are not natural. This is actually stuff that he's placed. Bonfires. Look at that. Bonfire. Yeah, redwood stump. Uh, well, that's that's naturally occurring. But a lot of these are ones that he actually placed. How cool is that? 
This is just the attention to detail that he's done on this base. It's really cool. Let's do a quick fly around so you can kind of see the top thing. And then what I'll do is I'll use admin commands to turn it nighttime. Hopefully no one is on the server so they get surprised by it. Uh, but we'll turn it to nighttime real quick so you can see it at the nighttime. But look at this place. Oh, you know what we need? I need a good screenshot of this place. Hold on. How have I not done a screenshot? You know, that's like the first thing I usually think about. Here we go. Let's turn this way. And... Oh, my God. Can we get the whole thing? It is huge. Look at that. Oh, my God. Absolutely epic. There you go. So that, that just shows you the type of work that was put into this place. Really, really cool. Uh, he's got, like, all the, uh, the architecture all the way up. Like I said, this was some difficult building. This is not admin mode this is him <laughs> flying like this to place all these pieces all the way up on each side unless he's got a stairwell in the middle i don't know uh, we'll look at it in just a minute he's got the light up here i guess for like the eye up top right really really cool looking let's go back down i think the entrance was over here on this side let me see all right all right cha. let's see was it here or was it the other side no nope, follow this go right there there it is here's the entrance for it we've got a couple things lined up here at the beginning Really cool looking entrance. Look at this. Really cool. Now, not a lot in here. This was mainly just a passion build. Oh, my God. Can I not make it in the door? This was kind of a passion build for him. It's not really about function or anything like that. Uh, just really wanted to build this giant epic structure. I can't imagine how long it took him. I need to ask him how many hours were spent on each one of these builds. Now, this is the most basic of the three builds. Literally, this one, he just built this giant structure. You're going to be blown away by the next three videos of the other places that he's built. All right, up here we got the little throne room things. Look at that. That is awesome. Look at this. Holy cow. Hold on. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, some epic, just evil Lord of the Rings stuff going on. Absolutely amazing. Such a good job, man. I'm, I'm glad that we're deciding to go around and actually do these. Uh-oh. Hold on. How do I get off here? There we go. I knew we could do it. All right. Hopefully that's not my bird getting attacked. But there you go. Just, I really wanted to show this off and kind of show each one of these little uh, videos real quick. Where was the attack coming from? Hold on. Oh, no. Where's my bird, guys? Where did I park? Oh, right there in front of me. You blend in, man. Good job, Fast Bird. And this is a bird that we borrowed from Auto. We literally just named it Fast Bird because it's leveled up a lot in speed. Uh, but there you go. Look at this amazing build, man. Let me turn it to nighttime real quick. So let's do a little bit of admin command. Turn it to nighttime. And then we will uh, take a look at it. If the, I think the light comes on, on top. Let's find out. All right, guys. There we go. We had to do a couple things real quick to get the light back on. The actual generator run, run out of gas. But there you go. It's got the red light to it. It definitely shows up better if you're in certain areas. But it looks really cool. There you go. Look at that. You got the big red glow from it. It looks really cool. It's definitely a huge build. I, I, just, I think I've said this like 25 times. But... The amount of time that was spent on it is absolutely crazy. Absolutely awesome. So there you go. That's the amazing first build that we wanted to check out. I'm going to split these into, I think, I don't know. Let me let me check how, much, how long the recording is right now. I'm going to figure out how many videos we're going to separate it into. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So one more thing we wanted to test out. I did get this guy in between episodes right here. Uh, once the, There we go. So once the stuff actually builds in here. So Giant Jaguar. I'm going to assume... That it takes the sa oh, give me that meat back. I'm assuming that it takes the saber saddle, possibly. I don't know. Let's oh wait, hold on. Does it show saber or thylacolio saddle? Probably. Let's let's try both. So let's go saber. Hopefully, I have the stuff for this. Yeah, we do. And thyla. One of, one of these two saddles. I'm hoping. If not, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the other option would be. We'll know here in just a second. We'll try this out. There we go, there we go. Alright, let's see. So let's, which one did you use high level? This is the one we just got. 269. Too bad we didn't get a male-female. We could have... Oh, there we go. So it takes the primitive saber tooth saddle. We're just going to drop the other one. Going to jump on our new buddy here. We never got a chance to test this guy out. Now, we tamed that one accidentally many, many episodes ago. And he's just been kind of hanging out ever since. Uh, very similar to a saber. Definitely runs and moves like a saber. How many... You got a couple points for us? There we go. I wish we had XP potions. We're playing so heavily on the Eternal mod that I'm used to XP potions and being able to upgrade really, really fast. Oh, wow. This guy does some damage, though. Look at this. There we go. Come on. Finish him off. Oh, my God. How much XP do you have? 1,700 more. We got this. Big battle. Come on. 
got to hit him like 15 times or so. And we've got regen potions, which is awesome. There we go. Okay, heal up. Oh, no, no. Wrong one. Heal up our buddy here. Yeah, take that. Give me your XPs, man. Hopefully, get a little bit of XP out of that. Oh, this guy's ready to be taken out. Here we go. But 130 is not too bad starting off. I kind of forget because, like I said, we're playing over on the internal server. And your starting damage there is anywhere from 1,000 to, like, 15,000. Sometimes up to 100,000. So it's a huge, huge different play style. Uh, let's see. There we go. Some more levels. All right. Let me level this guy up just for a little bit. Let's go down here. Uh, let's see. Where should we level at? You know what? We don't go to the dangerous area very often. Let me go over to kind of more towards the forest area that way. I'll meet you guys over there in just a minute. All right, guys. I've spent the last about 25, 30 minutes leveling this guy up. He's actually getting to be pretty good here. We're at 340 damage. Nothing crazy. Oh, wow. That's a 300 turtle. This might take a minute. Now, he does have a right click. Does it actually do anything? Hold on. I haven't got a chance to test it. When, I hit, when you hit right click, he does something. Hold on. There you go. He does like a... A leap, a pounce. Looks like it doesn't work all the time, but it's about about the same damage. Not too much different. Oh, why, why can't we turn here? There we go. Oh, this is going to take forever. Come on. But we pumped up our health quite a bit. Our health is now up to almost 4,000. Melee, 1062. Movement speed, 137. I didn't really pump that too much. I'm going to keep going around here. We're starting to get kind of closer to the dangerous area. we got to be a little bit careful. There are raptors. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't knock me off. Oh, these guys are even worse. Those guys are awful, awful people. They knock weapons out of your hand and everything. There we go. Come on. Oh, we got one more compy. One more compy. How do we get not, not get a level out of that? We've been leveling for a while. Now the levels are really starting to slow down. Somewhere between... Oh, God. What is that? A Drake, a Draco Rex. Look at this guy. Okay, don't kill us. Oh, man. Oh, he's running, though. He's running. He knows. He knows it's over. It's over, dude. Take that. Oh, what is that? Hold on. Uh, a Tyranno Titan that's really low on health. We can finish him. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, take that. Take that. Did I get XP for it, hopefully? Oh, why do I hear... Hold on, I hear really bad things. Was that a Zilla baby? If it is, we gotta run like crazy. Hold on. Let's see. Let's creep over the edge real quick. Be really careful. Oh, it's a Rex. No, no, no. Don't growl. Don't growl. Get away. Run away. Now, I don't know if we could take a Rex or not, but the problem is he's gonna growl and knock us off, so that we got no chance. No chance if that happens. All right, what do we got over here? Is that a dino? No, there's something over there in the trees. I saw something down there, too. Like I said, this is a bad area, man. got to be really careful over here. For some reason, the Jurassic Park dinos, they definitely spawn more in this area. Uh, so you got to be really, really careful. Uh, let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to keep picking off some of these easier dinos that we can take out, like the dillos and stuff like that. I'm going to spend another, maybe another 15 minutes trying to level this guy up, see where we can get him to, and then we'll head back to base. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cancel that. This is what I'm going to do. There's something right here in front of us. Good chance we're going to die. All right. There we go. So it's down here. It looks like it still has, like, the crazy colors on it. I've got meat on us. We don't have taming potions, but we're not worried about that because, like I said, we're probably going to die anyways. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and knock this guy out. I don't know if he's aggressive or not. I'll know here in just a minute. Oh, God, there's two. Uh oh no, no no I didn't know you were over here I'm sorry oh crap oh good there's there's the guy we were looking for there we go go down dude these are the actual ones that we were looking for oh there's another thing attacking us what in the world okay we're just gonna knock everything out it's a thing how we doing everything okay everybody done panicking so that there's three things knocked out like in just seconds holy cow all right, let me kind of look around. I'm really nervous down here. There's bad things everywhere. Is that a raptor? Hold on. No, a Draco Rex and a Demorphodon. Demorphodons are so aggressive in this one. All right. What about? Oh, what is that? Hold on. Is that just a regular Carno? Okay, Carno. I'm not as worried about. If he comes to us, we're we're done. But all right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let these guys starve for just a minute. Let me go get. 
our bear. So we'll have someone to actually watch our back just a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. We got our buddy hunter over here. We're going to go ahead and take out this guy right here, like so. Yeah, there's the damage, man. 1,800. These are bred up super amazing bears that we leveled up like crazy. So definitely the one we want watching our back out here. Look at that. So many levels. Loving it. All right. Let me just look around real quick. Oh, come on, man. Really? Leave me alone. Any more ants coming? Yep, there's more. Let's get these guys, then we'll jump off and feed these. All right. So this would be kind of cool. These are all three things that I really haven't had a chance to really tame up. All right. Anything else coming? Are we good for like two seconds? All right. Give me whatever prime you have. Prime meat. Thank you. And, man, I really should have brought some hunger potions. That's okay. Let's go with the first guy here. Uh, we'll go with the mutton first. All right, I'll take just a little bit of mutton back. And we'll go like this. We'll give him a little bit of prime meat, too. Just in case that... Oh, no, he's going to be tamed up quick. Look at that. There we go. We got a Smilodon. What's up, man? A blue Smilodon. How you doing? So still left over from the actual... Oh, man, he's got a growl on him. That is scary. Creepy, creepy. Okay, so there's that guy. This is a Gorgonosapid. Uh, man, yeah, I can't pronounce any of these things. Kind of like a Perlovia, it looks like. All right. Are you hungry? Kind of, maybe. Hold on, give me that back. We'll split this. All right, so he has not started eating. That's the thing. Can we? Oh, what are you doing, man? You're scary looking. Absolutely creepy looking. There we go. Take that back. And then somewhere over here, there's the Andrew... Oh. How did you tame up? Did How did you tame? Okay. Intr oh, oh, hold on. This guy tamed up. There we go. Ah, he's ugly. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let's get you over here. Were you already out here, or did we tame you? I'm going to have to go back and look at the video. How? I don't know what happened here. There you go. We got an Andrew Sarkis. All right. There, that guy. That guy. All right. Let me get these guys back to base so I can take a look at them. There we go. There's the three new buddies. Look at these guys, man. Absolutely crazy looking. We got the crazy colors with them, too. There we go. Let's get a quick picture of them. This first one is crazy, man. He's like a... It's kind of like a Prolovia, but he's got almost like an alligator mouth. Look at that guy. Absolutely nuts. Okay. Yeah, I've never not had a chance to tame one of those. This guy I've seen quite a few of. This is really low level, but a Smilodon. I think I actually did tame one, but we put him away because he wasn't very good level. And then the Antrusarchus. I always see him around. We never got a chance to tame him. But uh, that's going to do it for today. The main point of today was just literally to check on that base. That'll be the title of the video. This was just kind of a little bonus, so that way the video is at least long enough to be worthwhile. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'm loving the Jurassic Valgaro series. I love... Oh, no, no. Everybody running? That was a cool. I didn't even know what that button was. Uh, but <laughs> there we go. So hopefully you guys enjoy the series. I'm having a great time with it. We're not we're not done with it. I've got some more things that we want to get done, uh, but it's going to be probably after we're done moving. So I got a few videos coming up with different tours of these bases. We've got three more of Goat's bases plus Otto and Teru's Giant Castle, which Goat added to as well, and we'll have to show you that. But I can't wait to show you those. Coming up in the next few videos, probably spread out over the next week or week, maybe 10 days. Uh, we'll kind of see how long it takes to come out. What? Oh, big old shadow. What is that? Oh, what's up, man? We could actually hit him from here. All right, focus. We're doing an outro. I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.